What surprises me is uh, how many of them actually have a dream to become entrepreneurs. Uh, so we used to be always thought of as the organization that trained the CEOs of large companies. The foot soldiers of capitalism. I hope that we will continue to train the CEOs of the largest companies in the world. But I'm also very excited that so many of our students are now seeking uh, to become entrepreneurs because I think in that role they can truly create value for society. The Occupy Wall Street movement vilifies Wall Street, where a lot of Harvard Business School graduates want to work. Is Harvard part of the problem? So this was interesting that the same week that we had Occupy Wall Street, we also had the death of Steve Jobs. And uh, it was a time in which the mourning that we had on the passing of Steve Jobs was quite extraordinary. I, I can't remember any other time in which someone from business was as revered. So in many ways, it was a reminder to us that it's not that business itself needs to be vilified. Uh, if you create value in business, then people revere you. Uh, but if you're seen as someone who isn't creating value and is claiming value at the same time, then society, in fact, asks the question, should we respect you, should you trust you? But one of the most successful Harvard Business School graduates is Rajat Gupta. He was recently indicted. Is there something you need to be teaching to keep your graduates out of jail? I don't think so. Uh, if you were to look at our curriculum, uh, I promise you that the last thing that we teach anybody is anything other than responsible business leadership. Uh, our curriculum at Harvard Business School devotes more time to training people about ethics and responsibility uh, than any other curriculum actually of all other business schools. In the years since the global financial crisis, have you seen a shift in what graduates want to study, what they aspire to do with their lives? So in the 1920s, all of our students went into the railroads. Uh, in the last several years, uh, opportunities have been found in finance. Uh, as we see this global crisis unfold, and uh, who knows what the future of finance holds, but I can assure you that our students in some ways will be the leading indicator of where the next set of opportunities lie. Since so many opportunities are in the East, why should students go to a school like Harvard in the West? It's very important for people to realize that uh, there is a belief that the 21st century will be the Asian century. Uh, I think that just as the American century was the 20th century, the 21st century will be a global century. Asia will certainly be very important, but I was in Brazil, and let me tell you, there's remarkable things happening in Latin America. Uh, Africa, which we have all neglected, is going to be a very important continent as well. And people shouldn't forget the US. It's still the largest economy in the world, and it's too easy in relative terms to think about the rise of other nations to view that as the decline of the US.